If you want to get good at riding bareback, there are two main things that I need you to do that's going to help you to stay balanced and stay on. First one is no brace. You got to keep your body loose and relaxed so you can follow your horse's movements. Because if you have a brace, well, then you're more likely to start bouncing. If you start bouncing, you're more likely to fall off. Now, in the saddle, you get away with a little bit more brace. But when you're riding bareback, you only have yourself and your balance to rely on. So you need to keep your body loose and relaxed, especially, especially your hips and your legs. So when you're loose and relaxed, you're going to be able to follow your horse's movements. The other thing I need you to do is always look where you're going. It, you would be amazed how much this keeps you balanced. So I want to make sure that my head stays balanced and centered on top of my shoulders. Because look what happens when I look down or when I look up. And I definitely don't want to be looking to the left when my horse is going right, especially at a high speed. So I always want to look where I'm going because when I look where I'm going, my body follows, my horse follows, we stay balanced. All right, I lied. I got one more for you. So it's said, not two, three things that you need to know that's going to help you find your balance and help you to stay on while riding bareback. That is, find your horse's sweet spot. So every one of my horses has their own little sweet spot on their back. It's the, it's the lowest point of their back. And what that's gonna do is it feels more comfortable, but also it's just gonna make you feel just a little bit more secure when you're on their back. 